So I've um, just started in grid.cpp here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a breakpoint in Visual Studio on my update function and I'm going to set a breakpoint here on my update function. Now I know my update is a bottleneck. If I just go and run my program in uh, the terminal here, we'll see that the update and the draw are both taking a fairly long time here and this is sort of what we need to look at and, and see what we can do. The other thing uh, we can do is sort of uh, really delve into graphics debuggers and look at things like that. But what I'm going to do is just see what's taking my time here in the program. Now, Visual Studio gives you a set of tools for doing this as part of the debugging process. So what we need to do to look at a certain hotspot of code we set a breakpoint um, in our code where we want to start our analysis, and we can set a breakpoint where we want to end our analysis. Now, what we could do if we wish, and obviously it gathers quite a lot of information, I'm just going to disable both those breakpoints, go into main here. What we can do is basically um, set a breakpoint here, set a breakpoint there, and try and sample the entire program. This does become a bit uh, complex when we do this. So I'm going to press run. We'll see that our program fires up. Um, and now what we can do is we can record CPU um, profiling here. So you can see it's activated there anyway. And we click on continue. It's going to carry on gathering that information there. So my program is running. We can see what's going on. And then if I stop the program, it's going to hit the second data point. And you can see that we've got this data being accessed here. And we actually get a whole load of quite useful information to tell us where our hot path is, um, where lots of code is going wrong. We can begin to look at all sorts of useful things of how our CPU is running and, and, and various bits and pieces as we go through. And we can look at which functions are taking a lot of the work. Um, so we can see the big chunk of this is this sort of kernel application here. We've got I.O., UI, graphics, and other popping up. Um, it would seem here that a lot of the stuff that is taking time is to do with the NGLVec3, which sort of makes sense. So constructing an NGLVec3 is taking quite a big time. Um, there's some in placing back here, which is in placing back in a, a, a VEC3. So um, it would seem to be where a lot of my work is going. But it's really hard to sort of see from this to start with where all the hard work is coming from, what's taking up all of my, my time in the program, and what's taking up all of the elements. So you can see here, quite useful, grid draw is taking up 49, 21% uh, there. So that's taking up a fair amount. Um, we can see the VAO set data is taking up a big amount through there. Rendering text is actually quite complex. And we go down through and we can see various other bits and pieces that are causing time. In fact, the update is not particularly causing, so there's timer event there. And we'll most probably find the update. Update, we can search for it in there. So grid update is actually not causing too much issues. It would appear that my drawing is my bottleneck in this particular demo, which is fairly safe to say it is because of, of the way that I've laid it out. So we'll have a look in the next demo at the difference that these make. And you will see in the next demo that I will just slightly modify how my data is laid out and also how I'm going to do the drawing updates. And we should see a massive improvement in this performance. But this um, profiler is a very useful way of looking at you know, what's going on in our code, what's causing issues and so on. It gives us a really good idea of what's causing problems and hot paths within our code.